Medieval Dynasty. What is Medieval Dynasty? Hmm. Let's find out. Ever feel like you don't know what to play? Games that used to interest you just aren't really doing it anymore? Well, that's where I'm at, and that's why this video was made. Medieval Dynasty is a first-person open-world simulation game that blends survival, role-playing, and town-building elements. Set in medieval Europe, I will be playing as Resimir. I hope I'm saying the name right. I could possibly be saying it wrong. But he is a young man fleeing war and seeking to establish a new life. The game tasks the players with building a settlement, managing resources, and ensuring the prosperity of their dynasty. Sounds interesting. So, here we are. I'm finally playing Medieval Dynasty. This game has been on my mind for a while now. Now, I started this game from the very beginning. And if you're thinking about playing this game or just recently started playing, here are some tips and tricks that I would like to share with y'all. One, prioritize your basic needs. Okay, make sure Racimir, I think that's her name, has access to food and water. When you first begin, start hunting the small animals you see near, like the rabbits. Trust me, there's a lot of animals out there. I found out the hard way. But as you follow the task, you will learn how to set rabbit tracks right from the beginning, and that will definitely help you with at least catching like one or two rabbits a day, which will definitely get you by at the beginning. Also, gather berries as well. You can also eat those. Two, select the optimal settlement location. Like, select a nice area. I like me, y'all. I just started the game. I literally just went out there, made me a house in the middle of where y'all see it okay but i'm not too far from water and i'm not too far from the village which is good because i think you can trade food and stuff yet i haven't really done any trading haven't got there yet but i am close to the forest area which you see i, I have like rabbits running all past me so i'm definitely it's definitely easy for me to hunt and i'm close to the water so uh, my area is not bad okay i definitely could have thought about it but i didn't like i said they told me to build a house i literally just built it right then and there but it's not a bad area where i'm at um three engage in quests completing quests not only provides rewards but it also helps in building relationships with the characters which i'm thinking can later be beneficial for the growth of our settlement you know the more jobs i do for people i'm seeing that i'm gaining respect so okay that has to mean something later in the game right Four, understand seasonal changes. Although I'm still in spring, y'all. I only played for a few hours. I'm trying to gather what I think might be helpful for the winter. Like when I'm hunting, I'm keeping the fur, I'm storing it. Y'all make sure I get those little storage areas and put the fur in there. I don't really know what to expect from the winter. Again, I have not played it yet. But I'm kind of expecting that she's going to be cold and fur definitely is going to come in handy. So right now, I'm definitely saving the fur. That's all I know right now. If, you, if there's some stuff that y'all want to tell me that I need to prepare for for the winter, please let me know in the comments. Because right now, the only thing I'm thinking of is warmth, which is fur. Which I'm pretty sure I should probably be planting stuff because I'm pretty sure I won't be able to plant in the winter. But, hey. Um, five, manage resources wisely. Collect materials, y'all. Store them in those containers. They have little containers that you can store. Not too much stuff, but I mean store something. I mean, I'd rather have too much of something than not enough because, like I said, we're building a settlement. So, my mindset, I'm, like, saving everything that I can um because like if we can't use them now or we can't use them later we can definitely at least sell them for some type of money right i'm hoping okay with that being said y'all those are some little tips and tricks that i'm noticing from the game already so far okay but what are some things that i bumped into my first time playing y'all well a tree fell on me okay a tree fell on me and i died and i had to restart over okay i was not expecting that but hey things happened what else happened that completely shocked me oh let's not mention y'all got attacked by a, i don't know if it was a wolf what it was i turned around i seen something i turned back around and i continued to run i don't know i was attacked by something twice out there in the forest so when y'all go out there make sure y'all have light make sure y'all have um weapons to keep y'all safe out there when y'all playing um i mean i guess that's just common sense but i was just whatever caught off guard okay um i did have some fun hunting yo at first it was kind of like uh, i couldn't really hit anything with my spear but then i finally got the hang of it and it was actually fun i mostly only hunt rabbits okay but i will try for a deer i noticed if you hit a deer at least once give them time they may you know and you may have food okay um like I said, I have not started hunting the wolves. I'm not even going to hunt them. I've seen some big animals back there, y'all. I'm just going to stay to the rabbits, and I'm just going to stay to the deers for right now, okay? I'm not 
sure if we can sell the meat yet i haven't got that far if y'all know that we can please let me know in the comments below i'm pretty sure we can but who do i sell it to i don't know yet um also i don't know how long the meat is good once you have it like should i cook it immediately or probably not i don't know yet i haven't really got into all that but i'm pretty sure the meat is there way i can store the meat probably not right now but later on down the line probably um also, I've noticed that you can begin you can begin flirting with the women. Um, when you talk to women, it'll tell you their name and their age, and there's like a little option for you to romance. I guess um, early on, start trying to build the romance up so you guys can get a wife. I mean, it's, we're gonna need a wife. We know that. So I'm right now. There's like two girls I see on my way when I go to the village. I don't even know their names, but I just go there and romance a little bit. So when I'm ready to find a wife, it won't be as long. Okay um but yeah those are some of the things i noticed so far y'all the more i play i will share more with y'all i'm sharing everything that i'm learning with you guys um also when i did start this game i seen they have a co-op mode i have not read on the co-op mode i don't really know what it is but i guess you can customize and make your own character so i'm thinking if i want to be a woman i can i'm not really sure i haven't looked into it but if y'all know anything about the co-op mode y'all would like to share let me know in the comments y'all um but yeah if y'all enjoyed this video y'all hit that like button and just stay tuned for my next video